ladies and gentlemen, this is Nova Scotia Model Railroader with another episode. Uh, the last episode we talked about uh, installing a motor in the Athens Blue Box models. Unfortunately, my battery died, so um, I wasn't able to complete the video. But anyway, it was just talking about the motors and all that, so that's a pretty good video. Um, yeah, motor installation is a very, well, you know, it's pretty simple in those models, as I said in that video. And most of those locomotives can be replaced. Um, this here is an older, I think it's an Athens. No, this is an Atlas model. And these are more newer Atlas trucks. Uh, you can get these for this, like, you can, look, if you want to spend the extra money. I'm not sure which trucks are those. Can't remember, actually. A lot of stuff I, I kind of forget. Uh, I'm just going to stuff all this back in the motor bag. I have off camera here. And today, um, I'm just kind of show you guys what I've got done so far with the project of the layout. Um, see, uh, you remember before there was just, that was where the uh, line went in. Now I added a, um, a second line and it goes on the siding, has become the main line all the way up to where the, the, um, where the lumber car is. And it goes around like nice. Um, the crossing came out quite nice. Uh, it looks very decent. I'm quite happy with it. Now this this little mess up here is just something I was fooling around with. Anyway, no, no. Uh, I, it was going to be an idea for the layout, but I'm not going to go with it. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today's video. Wasn't really much to see. Just installing another siding. Boring. Bye.